Hello, Mad Mad World. You have now reached Zero Requiem. This is your host, Blue, and welcome to all the YouTube faithful who happen to come across this video or this channel. Today, I'll be doing something a little bit different. A complete playthrough with commentary. It's not something I've attempted before, but I wanted something else to add to my channel. Now, I'm doing this commentary after I play a couple sections. That means I won't have too much future knowledge about the game, but I can still play it blind, you know? I'm not quite sure how much commentary I'll actually give through this. I'm just sitting here watching this back with you at the moment. So. I'm not sure if I should actually leave these segments out or not. As I said, this is kind of new. Uh, I'll read the talking in the actual game out loud, but I'll save the cutscenes you know, for your imagination. Now this opening is really reminiscent of the old Nintendo games like uh, Ninja Gaiden, that sort of thing. You can really tell they they really like that error and try to do this pretty faithfully. Trace. Wake up, Trace. Ugh, what happened? Trace, there is gun in next room. You must get it. Wait, what's going on? Where are you? Hello? Where am I? Where am I? Now that is the question, isn't it? Now this part is really reminiscent of Metroid where you would start well Super Metroid but you would start and it'd be quiet uninteresting and then once you get the first item it wakes up the world and starts the music is this the gun the lady mentioned or did I just imagine her sorry I'm very weak you must go now before he finds you before who finds me what's going on I guess she's gone again. Now this game does start pretty interesting with all that happened in the lab apparently and he just wakes up in a egg some sort of machine. Yeah I thought that stuff might hurt me so I was, I was being a little careful there. But this egg and you can save on it. So this this leads me to the question of is this actually him, or is this some sort of a clone or a copy of some sort? Not quite sure, but I guess this is why you play the game. You'll see me shooting at walls and everything a lot, just looking for secrets. I've played a lot of Metroid games, so I know they can hide a energy tank or something like that in a random wall places. Now this room is classic. They show you something that's clearly off, and you know you can do something with it, but you just don't have the skill yet to do that thing with it. You gotta keep a mental note of it in your brain, kinda, to come back to it later. And this room is the same thing. You see something clearly you can do something with, you just don't have that something to do it with. Now is that actually designed to show you something like that before you can actually do something? When you have backtracking in a game like this, I would say it is. 
that kind of shows you a possibilities and I don't know something to be excited for I guess as I said I'm only two parts into the series so I'm not too far ahead but it does seem like they do that often which I have no problem with and that is another classic Metroid enemy where you'd be healed where you'd uh, refill your energy tank or whatever I assume they'd have the same purpose in this game Now here I come to my first choice of which direction to actually go. Usually I go in the first door I see and just see what's in it. But I was already down here so I figure, you know, I'll go check this direction out first. Turns out that that was the right choice. Now it's interesting in this room, you can actually see the red from the next room creeping into it. So it kind of gives you an idea of what's to come. But I didn't expect the power up this early, I'll be honest. That's just me testing out the new weapon. And there I find out how to actually hit that switch. I'm not quite sure if I like the gun or not. Better than the first gun you can get. Because the rate of fire is pretty low. It has its uses, but at this point I probably still prefer the original gun you get. And now that I've went to the right, it's time to check up above and see what that has in store for me. And you see I switched to the normal gun. I just like that better at this point. what all that red stuff actually is. And there's the first time I got hit. Eight minutes in. Not too bad, I guess. I am playing on hard, by the way, if you didn't notice in the beginning. Yep, there's another section. Where you see something, you know you're gonna do something with, you just can't yet. It's like in game teasers of what's to come. Kinda like that. Now I'm coming to the end of this first part, episode, whatever you like to call it, and um, yeah, I'm not sure how often I'll release these, maybe once a week, twice a week maybe, 
I don't know. Any comments or suggestions on how I can improve commentary or just make the video better to watch. And I'll take all suggestions to heart. Yeah, I see that room and <laughs> I back out of it like that looks like maybe boss time, I still save. So with this, this has been Blue, and thank you for watching this video. Be sure to catch me next time, and until then, later.